My bad, y'all. My alarm went off. <laughs> but somebody do not want me to get this reading out because you got the grass cut. You got the horn? The grass cutting, horns going off, my alarm went off. Like, somebody don't want me to say this. Whoever your past person is, they're feeling this intensity, too. So, it's almost just like you got somebody from your past who is, like, drowning in their emotions like they've never expressed how they feel for you they've been acting weird they've been doing all that dumb shit they didn't miss their opportunity with you and now you got somebody in your energy who is finna be your new boo like some of you are getting ready to enter into a long-term relationship because on the bottom of the deck it's over it i feel like this over it card is like you're over the past you're over this past person you're over the old cycle. You're old, you're tired of all these. Like, for some of you, even when it comes to dating, you're, like, over it. You're just like, you know what? This shit ain't working. But it's just like this full moon is going to reveal something to you. Something, Somebody that's in your energy already is, like, your person. But you may not believe it. You know what I'm saying? Because on the bottom deck, you got over it. And then you know who the loyalty card this person is still stuck to another situation situation it's i feel like everybody is feeling this i feel like like i feel like divine feminine you're getting ready to get something that you wish wished for a blessing is getting ready to come in for you it may be happening like right now before your eyes and you don't even realize it like if you went on a date with somebody recently that may be your person and you're just like what you know what i'm saying like it's just like you don't see something here. You don't see this blessing that's like right in front of your face or this getting ready to happen and shit. But it's fruitful union and divine protection out here. It's just like you and this person are meant to come together. This is like divine timing. That you've been over here chilling in hermit mode, minding your business. You know, like I said, you do have a social life. But like I said, this feels like I ain't really been looking for anything per se. I've just been like day by day you know what i'm saying because you're just over everything and everybody especially after this last situation when this person is like stuck to somebody else you're just like i just can't deal with it but it's like everybody is feeling the intensity of this like your past person that's stuck to the old situation that refused to leave the karmic and all of that they can feel it in the ethers too that something is getting ready to happen that's why they're feeling this intense urge to express how they feel with this obsession, their obsession over you. Yeah, look at that pressure cooker. Look, I can't make this shit up. Obsession, must have indulgence, pressure cooker, rage, ready to explode. And then look at that verge, about to confess or reveal. I cannot make this up. Your past person feels this shit in the ethers too. They know that something is getting ready to happen here. Oh, wow. Yeah, I feel like... I feel like Divine Feminine, you've just been, like, oblivious to this shit. You're just like, what? You know what I'm saying? Like, you could just... Divine Feminine, I feel like you've just been casually just living your life day by day, doing your regular routine, or whatever that may be. And like I said, yeah, you've been going to events you've been hanging out with friends you've been just doing what you would normally do but i feel like somebody out here that's in your energy that you've been talking to that you went out on a date with or something this is your person like real shit and i feel like your person from the past can feel it in the ethers that something significant is getting ready to change like they're ready to explode. They're pissed off. They're mad. They thought you were going to come back. But I feel like Divine Feminine, your energy is focused elsewhere. Not on anybody in particular, but it's just not on this past person at all. Like, you know what I'm saying? And then I feel like somebody else is like focused on you. Like, I don't know if this person is like being chivalrous towards you or showing you something. Maybe it didn't caught you off guard. We don't see though. What the fuck is going on here? It's like a sense of madness in the air. You got somebody who's straight going crazy, like obsessing over you. They're pissed. Pressure cooker. TikTok feel like time they ran out for them to come and try to express some shit to you. It's just like your past person can tell that you're moving on. Like you're not playing. And they feel like I got to say something. I got to do something. I got to figure something out. They're over there with their karmic and shit. And they're just like, how can I carry up and bust a move real quick? Like, 
real shit, but I feel like you don't care either way, divine feminine. Like, like you're totally uninterested in that person already. It's just like, look, you can make a move all you want to. It's not gonna make a difference. Yeah, look at that. Two of swords. Like you're indifferent about the situation. Like I don't care if you ever express yourself or not. I don't give a fuck if you ever tell me how you feel. I don't give a fuck if you ever make me an offer. Like you just don't care. Two of swords. Like. For some of you, you got this person blocked or you'll ignore them either way it goes. It's just like, that shit dead, like, for real. Shit. Whoa, what the fuck is going on here? Somebody is pissed, okay? Somebody is so mad. arms hurt so bad like when i'm saying my arms feel like noodles i'm not joking yeah two of pentacles reverse yeah somebody's like choosing you because like the two of pentacles can talk about like having to make a decision um juggling and shit it's like somebody doesn't want to juggle anymore like maybe somebody that you're, you've been casually dating like it's not that serious or it's not this deep this person is going to start like intensely pursuing you like real shit because the two of pentacles in reverse so that means that this person could have had another option but maybe that other option that they had fucked up and now they're just like all right well i'm gonna roll with collective you know what i'm saying like but i don't i don't feel like you're aware of this because like i said if you if you got somebody new it's just like casual it's like you may talk on the phone or text to this person or y'all went out on a date or something but it ain't never it's like it hasn't crossed the lines into like sexual or anything like that you're like you're not emotionally attached to this person you know what i'm saying it's just like you know you're just going with the flow basically but then i feel like this person had another option but whoever that option is that shit didn't work out or they cut that person off or something here and now this person is like intensely focused on you but i feel like that's how it was designed to play out it's like you're getting ready to come into union with somebody and it's a divine one at that. Like, I don't feel like you're going to be expecting to be this damn happy divine feminine. Wow. I feel like this person is going to be doting on you. Showing you a lot of attention, affection. Look how he's looking directly at her and a smile on his face. This is going to be somebody who's happy to do this stuff for you. Fruitful union. This could be somebody who does want children. Like, real shit with that pomegranate. Pomegranates talk about fertility. This, look like, this, this person on this card looks like Chance the Rapper. So, I don't know what his zodiac sign is. Y'all can drop it in the comments if you know. Yeah, but I feel like, wow. Wow. Yeah, look at the Empress Reverse. Whoa, who the fuck is that? Yeah, like, they could have had another option. This new person that you've been dating or entertaining, they could have had another option. You and somebody else, because the Two of Pentacles is out here. Somebody has been dropped from the team, though. Like, this new person that you're dating, they've let go of this other option because Empress Reverse, she's not a real Empress. She's on some low vibe shit. And this person is like, nah, that ain't what I'm looking for type shit. And now Divine Feminine is like, you're the, like, I ain't trying to say it like that because I was going to say you're the last one left. But not in a negative way. This is this was like the process of elimination. It's just like whoever this new person is, it's just like they let people just fall off on their own. You know, they take their time. They see what what time what type of time people be on, what type of decisions they make, what they do, or whatever. And then if they realize like this person is not like really an empress, or this person has no self worth and shit, they be like, all right, you can go. Like this is real emperor energy like a process of elimination where they disqualify you for not knowing your worth that's real divine masculine energy the divine masculine is never going to choose a weak partner a weak feminine and with this empress reverse this is somebody who does not know their worth she could be broke too with the two of pentacles reverse so she could have been on some gold digging shit she could have kids already and wanted this masculine to take care of her children and shit and he was like mm -mm. get somebody else to do it yeah, look at this. Seven of Cups. God 
I don't know who this Empress Reverse is. So now she's lost and confused. She may feel like she got a lot of options, but not really. Whoever this Empress Reverse is. Let's see. Yeah, Three of Pentacles. Yeah, see, somebody wants to work with you, Collector. They want to build with you. Yeah, look at that. Ace of Cups is right behind that. Ace of Cups is new love. New love with the Three of Pentacles. Somebody wants to date you. They want to be consistent. Like they want to build, they want to plant a solid, they want to build a solid foundation. They want to work together with you. They want to collaborate. Ace of Cups, this is new love. Wow. So like, I don't even think you realize what the fuck is going on here, like divine feminine. I don't even think you realize that a relationship is like you've manifested something here and it's getting ready to show up around this full moon. Like you're going to be so surprised. Because I feel like whoever this person is that you've been casually dating, like, it's not been too much, you know what I'm saying? It's been, like, a cool little vibe, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, a couple of dates here and there, talking on the phone, texting and shit, but nothing that'll really, like, have you in your feelings, have you fucked up. Look, somebody don't want me to say this shit. Ooh, somebody don't want to talk about the divine, the collective moving on. They don't want to talk about divine feminine getting a new man. Somebody mad. Ooh, wee. Divine feminine. Yes, girl. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Somebody do not want me to talk about this shit. They didn't click the camera off and everything else. Yeah, look at that. Ten of Pentacles reverse. Mm -hmm. Yeah, look. And I got the deck open. Ace of Pentacles reverse. This is somebody who missed the opportunity with you. Yeah, they're experiencing some type of karma. Your past person, they officially missed the opportunity with you. Like TikTok running out of time. There's no more time. This person had ample time. And I'm talking about when I say the universe has been so gracious with this person, trying to work with them, trying to teach them these karmic lessons so they can move into their north node, so they can be high vibes, so they can heal, so they can start being blessed and receiving their blessings and shit. This person refused. Ten of Pentacles reverse, they refuse or they're stuck in something that they can't get out of. Like I said, some of these people are married. Some of these people are trying to get a divorce. Some of these people are having money issues or money troubles. They weren't able to get out of this shit in order to be with you or they're stuck there. The Ten of Pentacles reverse with the Two of Pentacles reverse next to the Empress reverse is like they're stuck with somebody. Your past person is stuck with somebody like real shit. Why is the Ten of Pentacles reversed? Yeah, Ace of Swords reversed. They're in denial because this person refused to, to have a breakthrough. They refused to be honest with themselves about this situation that they've been entertaining with this Empress reverse. Your past person, your past person is so egotistical, so prideful, want to win at all costs. It's almost like they've been trying to force this ten of pentacles reverse empress reverse situation to work knowing the whole time that they're obsessed and wanting to be with you and this shit that they're already in is not working they're in denial this person has mental health issues and everything like like because who can the ace of swords reverse who can sit up and just self-deceive themselves like that like that is a mental illness where you will sit up and lie and deceive to your deceive yourself when you can clearly tell that something is not working and somebody is not for you and you still choose to stay to keep working on it. You keep beating a dead horse. Something is wrong with you. Because any functional adult would be like, okay, this ain't working. Let me move on. Let me do something else. Let me try something else. That's a, a, a normal adult. This person, Ace of Swords Reverse, they've been lying to themselves, denying themselves. Like, no, this Ten of Pentacles Reverse, this the real thing. This the real legacy. The Empress Reverse, no, that's the real Empress. No, it's not. It's not. Surrender to the divine is out here. Like, somebody here, this denial shit that they're doing. Spirit is finna bust that wide open. Like, keep being in denial all you want to. This full moon is finna fuck somebody up. Real shit. Because they've been doing this. They've been lying and deceiving themselves for too fucking long. Like, real shit. They're, they've been trying to hide this obsession that they have with you. But now they're ready to explode. Because this shit that they're stuck in with this Empress Reverse is not working. 
you don't fuck with them no more. It's like this person doesn't want to admit the truth. Because if they admit the truth, they're going to be left with nothing. They really don't want to be with this Empress Reverse. And you've moved on. So it's just like when this person, when this Ace of Swords turns upright, the truth is going to be that they're left with nothing. They don't even want the fucking Empress Reverse. And they don't no longer have you, Divine Feminine. So it's just like they're going to be, it's going to be nothing. It's all going to be over. Why is the Ace of Swords reverse? Mm -mm. And I'm talking about when I first came in here to even do this reading, it was quiet as hell. Like, wasn't nobody cutting grass, wasn't no planes, wasn't none of that shit. That shit didn't start till I came in here. That's why I said somebody doesn't want to talk about that. Somebody could be trying to distract themselves. They have been trying to distract themselves with this shit for a long time. Like, real shit. They've been trying to deny how they feel about you, about the situation that they're in. Oh, I'm going to make this work. We can fix this with this Empress Reverse. Look at that. Eight of Pentacles Reverse. They didn't lost so much money. Like, real shit. They didn't lost so much money fucking with this Empress Reverse. They didn't lost a lot of shit. And maybe they were holding out, lying to themselves. Well, it'll get better eventually. It'll change. It'll get better because I know she's the Empress. This is not an Empress. The Empress Reverse is not an Empress. Eight of Pentacles reverse. Nobody's even putting in the work or the effort into this shit anymore. Eight of Pentacles talks about taking shortcuts, um, half assing, doing the bare minimum and shit. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. Like the Eight of Pentacles reverse, that is somebody who hasn't put any real work in. Like this is like a fake. This is like the Ten of Pentacles reverse with an Empress reverse. This is somebody who just like met a karmic and got into a relationship and it was like look we finna be couple goals they haven't put no real work in they haven't really built anything laid any type of solid foundation it's like but they want to look like they have you know what i'm saying with this fake ass empress it's just like what are you doing and they're still trying to push this narrative like yes this is my empress this is the one this is the one we gonna be together that long haul like whole time they're secretly obsessed with you like, what the fuck is wrong with this person? Yeah, look at that four of pentacles reverse, bro. Somebody out here, these people, their foundation, their stability is fucked up. Four of pentacles reverse, ten of pentacles reverse, eight of pentacles reverse, two of pentacles reverse. Like, how much money do you got to lose to realize, like, that's not the person that you need to be with? And people think that, people think when you date people, that shit ain't got, like, if you date the wrong person, people will literally block your blessings. Like, if somebody hasn't done the work, if they haven't mastered themselves and done any type of, uh, or paid their karmic debt off, and you're dating this person, spirit will literally block your blessings until you let that person go. Because what, what spirit and what God has for you is not meant for that person to have. So as long as you're holding on to somebody who owes a lot of karmic debt, you're blocking your own blessings. God and spirit won't give you your shit until you let go of that person. Like real shit. And that's what happened to this masculine. Like he was supposed to been leave this Empress Reverse alone a long fucking time ago. A long time ago. He's supposed to been left this bitch alone a long time ago. Now they've been taking major ills and losses they they're literally going crazy lying to themselves about the whole situation and shit like what the fuck all these pentacles in reverse it's like i don't know somebody's like unemployed they don't have no money and shit yeah look at that devil reverse why is the devil here reverse yeah look at that somebody is like super obsessing because the, the devil, whether it's upright or in a reverse, it intensifies whatever card is next to whatever, like the nine of swords in the devil. Somebody here is so, they are obsessing so bad. Somebody up here is so in their head. It's sick. Like this obsession is driving somebody crazy. Like look, nine of swords, look at that. This is somebody who cannot stop thinking about you it's like round the clock morning noon and night every second minute of the day this person is wrecking their brain somebody here knows that they fucked up they know that this shit that they're involved in is not the real legacy this is not the real empress they're losing all their fucking money and they're gone they're literally they're like 
you're gone. Somebody here is like at their breaking point. That's what this feels like. Because the way that they're obsessing, all this anxiety and shit, somebody is at their breaking point. Like, this could be somebody having an emotional breakdown around this full moon. Like, real shit. Why's the Empress reverse? Because it's like this person, it's like the Ten of Pentacles reverse. It's like somebody who pretends to be couple goals. Pretend to look like they got it going on or they got shit going on. Like, they got motion and shit. You're not doing shit. You've been taking L after L after L after L ever since you've been fucking with this Empress reverse. The Nine of Swords is in the upright and the Devil card is here. Somebody has a guilty conscience. They know they fucked up by investing in this shit with this Empress Reverse. They know they did. Somebody here knows they should have came back towards you a long fucking time ago. They know it. They know they getting ready to take the biggest ill. It's like they've been playing around. They pretending like they also oh happy with this Empress Reverse and shit. And they've been trying to run back and forth between you and this Empress Reverse. They're not able to do that no more because you've moved on, Collector. This cycle is closed. And it's like they're still there in the old cycle, not reaping anything good other than getting ready to lose their fucking mind. Because they're losing everything quickly. Like real shit. And they don't have access to you anymore. You out here with new love. Ace of Cups and the Three of Pentacles. You're dating, collaborating, working with somebody else. You're getting ready to start building with somebody else. With new love out here. This is a new cup. Mm -mm. Why is the Empress Reverse? Why is the Empress Reverse? judgment reverse yes i told you judgment reverse somebody is realizing they made the wrong decision with the judgment reverse they never answered the call from the divine because if they did the judgment would be the upright this is somebody who's in denial about the decision that they made it's like they they knew they made the wrong decision they know they made the wrong decision because the nine of swords upright wouldn't even be out here this person goes all day pretending like they're perfectly fine. But when night falls and it's time for this person to go to bed, they're staying all, up all night obsessing about you, feeling guilty, knowing that they fucked up. The judgment first, they know they made the wrong decision. They know they did. Just because of everything that's happening around them or the, the shit that has happened to them since they've been with this person, they know they made the wrong, the, the wrong, they made the wrong judgment. This person is still wearing a mask, still trying to pretend like they're happy, everything is good, everything is, this full moon is gonna, oh my God, it's about, when I say rip that shit apart, look at that, and the most high came out, woo, woo, this is, this, this was spiritual warfare, when the horrified and the devil come out in the same spread, this is spiritual warfare. The devil's in reverse. The devil is losing out here. These toxic motherfuckers are losing. The most high said, I'm in this motherfucker. I'm finna show you who reigns supreme in this bitch. Oh, man. Wow. Whoa. This, I, I'm just going to say, I feel sorry for the people who did not do the work. And I mean that genuinely. Like this, this shit doesn't feel good at all. I'm talking about the most high and it came out front and center. The most high God, the alpha and the omega, the beginning and the end. Nobody is bigger, higher, better, smarter like the devil's in reverse the higher font the most high is putting the devil to shame these people with this toxic shit they are in trouble like real shit it's like god literally had to show up in the middle of this reading because it's just like i've sent you so I, these toxic ass people this toxic ass person is like i've sent you so many signs and synchronicities and and, and downloads i've been telling your ass to do the right thing for the longest time and you refuse with the judgment reverse to do what i called your ass to do enough like real shit Ooh, woo. Oof. 
Why is the Hierophant here? Three of Wands. Yeah, you're moving on. Your ships are coming in. You're waiting for the blessings to come in, and they're coming. The Hierophant, it's almost like the Hierophant is telling the collective to just be like, watch out. Like, turn, turn around, because I don't want you to see what's getting ready to happen to these people. Like, go, the most high is telling the collective, go do what I told you to do. Over there somewhere. Go do what I told you to do, because I don't need you looking at what's getting ready to happen to these people. Yikes. Mm-mm. That's a three of wands here. Yeah, look at that. In reverse, I told you there is a masculine, there is a masculine energy, a divine masculine that is in trouble. He's been ignoring divine orders on purpose. Like real shit. This is somebody who is the, the in reverse is somebody who has no direction, no purpose, no guidance. And they've been out here pretending to be some type of divine couple uh emperor empress reverse they've been out here pretending to be a divine couple happily married like they got the legacy you hear that i'm talking about distraction after distraction these two motherfuckers been out here pretending like they're a divine couple like their couple goals like they're like they're holy and they're blessed and blah 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 blah, blah and they were meant to be together and this is how you make a relationship work they're losing everything the ten of pentacles reverse four of pentacles reverse eight of pentacles reverse i'm telling you these motherfuckers are finna start losing houses getting evicted losing jobs i'm talking about, i'm talking about this shit is finna be broke down to nothing because this masculine refused to take the mask off and do the right thing this divine feminine too well she ain't divine but empress reverse these two motherfuckers refused to answer the call they've been out here doing what the fuck they wanted to do this is a karmic relationship these people were supposed to been divorced been broken up they refuse. They've been trying to hang on to whatever the fuck this is that they think they didn't build with each other. Like the universe is like, hell no. Nah. I told you, motherfuckers, this is done. Ooh, wee. Wow, well, it's the emperor reverse here. A lot of ego, a lot of pride. Always want to be right. Abuse of power is the emperor reverse. Somebody who overdoes their control. They want to control every fucking thing. They want to control this Empress Reverse because she ain't got no backbone. She do whatever this person say because she too scared to be without a man because she has zero self-worth. The Emperor Reverse, he's just running all over her and shit. Yeah, look at that. Strength card Reverse. He's a coward. Some of you, this could be an Aries or a, a Leo. This Emperor Reverse with the Strength card Reverse. Yeah, he's not even at his best self right now. He's been weakened. This He's been weakened. For some of you, this person could be sick, but he doesn't have to be, but he just doesn't feel at his best. The strength is card is in reverse. He's getting tired, worn out because this shit is not working. He's overdoing his control. Mm -mm. It's like when you already in the strength reverse energy and karma keeps coming on your head back to back to back to back you are not going to make it okay like real shit you can't fight shit or or do shit with the strength card reverse this masculine this is a wounded masculine he don't he can't take no more basically so it's just like what the fuck are you gonna do because the hierophant is up here in the reverse yeah look at that ace of wands For some of you, this might be an STD. The strip card reverse can mean that you're sick, you're weak, you're not feeling at your best. And then with this Ace of Wands out here, I don't know what this fuck this is on this person's dick or whatever this is, but I don't know. Why is the Ace of Wands here? Yeah, Page of Swords. Yeah, this person wants their... their they don't have nothing to offer but penis dingling. They ain't got no money. All the pentacles are in reverse over here. 
the page of swords this person is watching spying it you online and shit with the page of swords nosy all up in your business trying to see what the fuck you're doing what you got going on but they're in a whole fake ass relationship yeah eight of wands this person may be thinking about reaching out to you or saying something to you yeah justice reverse for some of you this is a libra but like i said like or if it's not a libra this person's going through some type of legal shit Ten of Pentacles and a Justice Reverse, they're dealing with something that's not easy to get out of. Either this divorce is taking a very long time. They trying to decide between, I mean, figure out um, kids and uh, custody and all this type of shit going on. It's just like, yeah, I'm hearing paternity tests and shit. They're waiting on court dates and results, having to pay out money. It's all type of shit. And this person's worried about what, what you're doing. Justice reverse, yeah. Two months reverse, yeah, because they know they chose the wrong path. Yeah, you walked away. Eight of cups. Flip right over. Why is the eight of cups here? You walked away because you refused to settle. It's just like, no, I'm not going to wait for you to get a divorce. I'm not going to wait for you to stop playing around with this fake weird ass bitch. I'm not going to wait for none of that. I'm out. Eight of cups. Yeah, look, and they're rushing in behind you with communication. I'm telling you, this person's getting ready to say something to you because they cannot take this. It is too much shit going on in this family dynamic, in this fake-ass relationship, this baby mama, whoever this fuck, this shit is too much for somebody. Nine of Swords and, and this obsession with you is getting to them. This person was perfectly okay when they were married in this dysfunctional-ass relationship, but they still could run back and forth with you before you were able to set boundaries with this person they were perfectly okay with running back and forth thought that they were gonna take their sweet ass time thought that they were in control and shit when you walked away shit start falling apart for this person and i'm talking about they're down to nothing okay mm -mm. Yeah, King of Cups Reverse. This is somebody who's emotionally unavailable, emotionally manipulative. This could be somebody who is a drinker. King of Cups Reverse, they are all in their feelings. Yeah, that's what this this full moon shit. This person might have been crying and shit already. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, hang there in reverse because they feel stuck. For some of you, this could be a Pisces. We got Pisces, Aries, Libra, Leo out here, Capricorn, Taurus too. Hang me. Yeah, this person feels stuck and they're emotionally unavailable. Yeah, look at that. Hermit card. This person's wanting a long time. They don't want to be bothered with nobody or this Empress Reverse. They are like watching you. Page of Swords and the Hermit card. They're watching you. They're looking you up, trying to figure out what you're doing, trying to figure out what they're going to say when they reach out and send this message or this communication real quick. Why is the Seven of Cups here? Yeah, look at that. Lover's card. This person doesn't even, they don't even know. Seven of Cups, they're confused as to why they didn't choose you with the lovers here. It's like they don't even know why they they didn't even, like, come back for you or choose you or, like, why is the lovers here? Some of you just is a Gemini. Yeah, it's, it's. Yeah, Seven of Pentacles. They don't know why they didn't invest in the real lover's relationship. They don't know why they waited so long, why they were procrastinating, why they wasted so much time. They don't even know. But like I said, for some of you, this is you. The lovers in the Seven of Pentacles, you have a new counterpart out here that you're building with. Or it's going to turn into this. I don't think you're expecting it. This is somebody that you've just been casually dating. You get along with them really well. Conversation may be good. But this is your new person. The lovers, a blessed union, blessed by the divine. Seven of Pentacles, you're going to be investing in this shit. Others of you, you might get pregnant at some point. Because the Seven of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles, that's the Ten of Pentacles. And the Ace of Cups, this is a new relationship, new love. Like some of y'all are going getting ready to. This Three of Pentacles that you think you're doing with somebody is actually really the real thing. It's going to turn into the seven of pentacles and the lovers. You're going to go from dating. Like this is new. Ace of cups, three of pentacles. This is new. This is new. Lovers in the seven of pentacles. You're going to decide that I want to invest in this. I want to plant seeds. Like somebody's going to be like, okay, like, yeah, like I want to be with you and the lovers. Like a relationship. Mm -mm. 
Like if you're still childbearing years, I feel like you're gonna have another kid with this new person. Yeah, the two of cups is in reverse. This is your person from the past where they let they let too much time, let time run out. Two of Cups is in reverse. You're not even connected to this person no more. Matter of fact, with the Two of Cups reverse, you feel like you you and the person from the past are incompatible. Y'all weren't a good match. You weren't soulmates and shit after all. You know what I'm saying? Mine's the Two of Cups reverse. Yeah, look at that sun card. And you're happy. I told you, you found happiness without this past person. It's like you're vibing so high with the sun card energy here. You've attracted the new person. Mm -mm. Off the sun card here. Yeah, some of you going to get pregnant by this new person and end up having a little boy. Yeah, look at that. Sun card with the magician. This is something that you manifested. You don't even realize like there's a blessing happening before your eyes. Like something that you just thought like, oh, I'm just dating. This is what people my age do. Like, no. Like, this is it, bitch. Like... <laughs> That is crazy. Oh my God. Yeah, I'm hearing summer love. Oh my God. You're going to be in love with this on the collective. Like, oh my God. Y'all did not see this shit coming. Like, real shit. Yeah, 10 of Wands reverse. It's not going to be stressful. It's not going to be heavy. It's going to be easy. This is going to be a healthy relationship. Just a lot of good sex, a lot of happiness with the sun, a lot of manifestations, a lot of blessings are going to come from this union. Four of Wands. I cannot make this up. Four of Wands. Y'all might move in together or get married. Oh my God, collective. What? <laughs> oh my God. This is so crazy. Like, what the fuck? That's an Ace of Cups and the Three of Pentacles here. Yeah. Yeah, look at that major change. The death card is here. Change and transformation. Something is officially over and this new thing is coming in. Like real shit. You guys are not going to believe y'all life in the next six months. Like real shit. Like real shit. That old shit, that past shit, this past person, they, they wasted too much. They waited too late. Time ran out. Why is the death card? Mm -mm. yeah look at you queen of wands booski you confident you're okay with the change you're like let it die shit <laughs> queen of wands you fine as hell strong ambitious confident sexy attractive glowing Yeah, Seven of Swords reverse. Yeah, because you already know what somebody, this person from your past, you already know what they're about. Seven of Swords, they lies and all that sneaky shit, all that fraud shit, all that fake shit, that, that con shit has caught up to this person from your past. Seven of Swords, they're, they're, they're out it. You know what this person was trying to do with the Seven of Swords. You know what they were being sneaky about. You know this person was trying to waste your time, trying to play around with you and shit. It's like, you know. Seven of Swords reverse. Yeah, Ten of Cups reverse. Yeah, you know whatever this sneaky shit was that they were trying to do in this relationship with this other person. You know, you know this person's still legally married or it's, some, it's a reason why this person refused to come towards you or why they never came back or why they waited so long. Like, Or you know with the Ten of Cups reverse and the Seven of Swords reverse, somebody in the relationship got caught cheating. Like real shit. Somebody got caught cheating outside of their relationship. Ten of, Ten of Cups reverse, Ten of Pentacles reverse. Whatever this relationship, this masculine car he's still being in. Because I told you, I did a reading like a few days ago where I was like the karmic, I mean the masculine got back with the karmic feminine. They got back together and shit is even worse than it was before. Like these karmic people, they're so codependent. Instead of doing the work and making the changes necessary to change their lives, they just keep running around in circles, going to do the same shit over and over again with the same people. They separated from the karmic, tried to come back towards you. It didn't work. And so instead of being like, you know what, fuck it, I'm going to just be single and do the, do the work, do what the fuck I'm supposed to be doing. No, they got back with the karmic. And now shit is even more worse than it was the first time around when they got back with this person. Because God, the most high, told their ass to leave this person alone. 
They told it. They told the both of them to leave each other alone. It's karmic masculine. It's karmic feminine. This shit is over with. Mm -hmm. Yeah, look at that. Knight of Pentacles. Now they want to come towards you. Because the shit that hit the fan with this situation at home. And that's what I'm saying. How, this person is so stupid. Like, how do you wait till something gets so bad to the point where you ain't got no other option? You should have been left. Yeah, look at that. Six of Cups. Now they miss you. They got memories and shit. I told you, this put, this person, is, the Nine of Pentacles is the slowest moving night in the day. They took so fucking long. And they know they miss you. They know they in this nostalgic energy. They got all these memories and shit about what y'all used to do. For some of you, you got a lot of history with this person. You've been knowing this person for a long time. For some of you, maybe since you were children. This person been knowing they've been in love with you the whole time. Yeah, page of cups. Yeah, this person wants to apologize. But like I said, that's, that would be what's wrong with these masculines. They get involved with these karmic feminines, call themselves building a legacy the whole time. They gut and they intuition be telling them something about this shit ain't right. And instead of listening to that, they keep out of ego and pride. No, I got to stay here because this is my kids. You know, they don't want to look like they're not a good man. They don't want to look like a coward. But you're only going to look like a coward by staying somewhere where you know you're not happy with and sabotaging it anyway. When you could have just left, spared the karmic feelings, spared your own damn feelings and got with the person that you knew you wanted to be with to plant your seeds and build a legacy. But they be so concerned about how they look in their image and I can't be the type of person that that leaves my wife for somebody else yet you could be the type of man who stays in a marriage with a bitch that you basically hate and, and, and cheat on 24 7 you can do that you can do that but you can't grow some balls and just leave this situation and go to where you know you want to be happy at go to where you know you're going to thrive at because that's what you've been called to do ain't nothing coward about that There's six of wands on the bottom of the verse. This person that fell from grace. Like real shit. Clout chasing, attention whore, pretending like they they them and this karmic is so happy together and they got everything and life is great and we're so happy and we were meant to be together. All that shit. That shit is a lie. Like this fake life is coming to an end. Somebody here needs to live in their truth. Yeah, look at that fool card. They need to free themselves from this shit. Take a leap of faith. Why is the fool card here? Cause I'm gonna get off of here. Moon card. Mm -hmm. The full moon is out here twice. Moon card and surrender to the divine. Yeah, look at that. I'm talking about this person's anger. It's like right beneath the surface. Nine of Wands and a moon card because you're free. You're not stuck in this situation. You're you've moved on. You took a leap of faith on yourself because you realized this person wasn't coming back for you. Food card, you let the shit die. Food card, death card, sun, magician, uh, four wands, the lovers here. You took a leap of faith. You freed yourself from this shit and let it die so that you can manifest something new. And you did. Something's ending for this person and something is beginning for you. That's how the tables turn. That's how karma works. And now this person is pissed, but they're at home with this karmic feminine energy trying to hide their anger, but it's right beneath the surface. This person is so agitated. They're so bothered. They got an attitude. The emperor reverse. They're being hella mean. I like... Because they're in the fight of their life with the nine of wands. The nine of wands is a wounded warrior. That's somebody who's struggling every day. They got to work hard to the point of exhaustion. Trying to keep this fake ass family dynamic together that they should have been left a long time ago and trying to hold on to this obsession with you. Yeah, this person is pissed because they're not getting their way anymore. Yeah, three of swords reverse. You're not heartbroken over this shit, Page of Pentacles. Yeah, you feel like somebody is just like slow, like they just don't get it. Page of Pentacles, like this person doesn't want to learn. They want they don't want to be taught. They got too much ego and pride. This is somebody who thinks they got the game and gone with it already. This is somebody who's stuck in their ways, who feel like, well, I've been doing it. I've been doing it like this all this time. Da, 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 da. Well, okay. That's why your life is the way that it is. And that's why you're mad with the nine of wands. Page of 
Hate the Pentacles reverse. This is just sad. Yeah, King of Swords reverse. Look at them. Bitter, detached, cold, liar. I'm talking about they are not happy at all. The Nine of Wands, this person is being mean, being cold. Queen of Pentacles reverse. Yeah, they could have another baby mama outside of this one that they're with with the Empress reverse. They got two feminine energies here. An Empress reverse that they're still in a relationship with. And there's a Queen of Pentacles reverse. They could have stepped outside of their relationship or their marriage. And it's been healed ever since this Queen of Pentacles reverse that showed up. Because she only got involved with this person for money that they don't have. Or this Queen of Pentacles reverse is the reason why this person is losing money. Because if they had a baby or a kid out of wedlock. She, this Queen of Pentacles reverse is, is deep in their pockets. Trying to get child support and, and, and whatever else she can get. So, yeah, this person's mad and miserable. They missed out on you. Their money is being taken or they don't got none. They lost everything and they're not happy with the bitch that they got at home. They picked the wrong female to build their legacy with. And then they cheated and got involved with some bitch who's, who's draining them for their money. Yeah, look at that. Tempers reverse. They are pissed. This person is so fucking mad. They're unhealed. The nine of wands is upright and the tempers is in reverse. This person may fuck around and lose their temper around this full moon. It's like they just not going to be able to take it. Emotional explosion. They just going to have a, a super breakdown. Yeah, King of Pentacles is right. Look, their money is gone. They're connected to two low vibe ass bitches. The Empress reverse to the Emperor reverse. The King of Pentacles reverse to the Queen of Pentacles reverse. They tra attracted women that were on their same frequency and same vibration. They attracted the Empress reverse. Somebody that don't know her worth because he don't know his worth. He attracted somebody that was all about money and a gold digger because that's what type of shit he was on. All about money and a gold digger. Mm-hmm. I don't feel sorry for this motherfucker either. This Emperor Reverse is the representation of a lot of masculine men. They wasted too much time. They lost out on the person that they were supposed to be with to really build their legacy. And now they're going to live a life of misery. Oh, well, seven of wilds reverse here. They're embarrassed. They feel like giving up. They're tired, exhausted, worn out. Yeah, world part. It's over. Death in the world is out here. It is over cycle is closed they've been trying these karmic motherfuckers have been trying their best to keep this motherfucker open it is done death card in the world it is over you have to go somewhere else start over somewhere else do something new yeah look at that nine of cups you're happy that you completed this cycle you're getting blessings emotional fulfillment spirit is making sure that you're cared for and taken care of like real shit, you're happy. You don't mind. You're just like, let the shit die. I don't care what'll fall apart. I'm good over here. Yeah, look at that. Ace of Pentacles reverse. It's a missed opportunity. A missed opportunity. They will never get an opportunity like that again. Yeah, some of you are single. Look at that. Knight of Cups. You got a new offer. Somebody that wants to date you. Somebody that wants to be romantic or chivalrous towards you. Told you you got somebody new in your energy that you're dating. And I feel like this person's really sweet. They're really nice. They could be chivalrous or romantic or they like to plan shit with you and shit. Like I said, look at that. You're still single, but I mean, this little birdie here is like you and this person communicate. You talk and shit. But I feel like it's developing into something that you never fucking expected. Yeah, you're the queen of cups with the ten of swords reverse. You've recovered from this major betrayal that happened to you in the past. And you've been self-loving, self-caring on yourself. Nine of Cups, the Nine of Pentacles out here living your best fucking single life. And now you got some this Nine of Cups who wants to come in and be romantic and chivalrous towards you. Be a gentleman. You know what I'm saying? He's coming at you the right way. I mean, yeah, it's a night, but like he's in the upright. I think that's just a representation of how he's approaching you in the Nine of Cups energy. Somebody who's romantic, somebody who is chivalrous, somebody who wants to be nice and sweet towards you. And then this could be somebody else from the past. This is this person that missed this opportunity with you. Now they want to come back and apologize when everything is over with. The cycle is completely closed. Death in the world. Now this person wants to apologize. Now they want to come back around. The fucking, the, the apology is useless. What the fuck are you going to do with that? Major lesson learned. Yeah, three of cups. People going to be gossiping and shit. Because this person tried their hardest. I'm talking about their... Their pride and ego would not let them come back towards you. They refuse to apologize. They refuse to be to 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 take accountability and admit that they were in the wrong for sabotaging the connection connection with you. They refuse to do it. 
Now their life is so fucked up to the point where they ain't got no other choice. And I feel like that's just a part of your karmic blessings. This this person's finally giving you the apology that you should have been had, even though you don't need it. I feel like spirit is making them do that shit. Mm -hmm, look at that high priestess. And you already know it. Or you're listening to a reader that's telling you the truth. With the high priestess here. Yeah, two of swords. You don't give a fuck. You're so indifferent. You're so good. So cool on this person. Like, I'm good. I'm cool. I don't need it. You don't give a fuck. Bottom of the deck. Yeah, this person out in the cold. Five of pentacles. They gonna feel abandoned, broke, left, alone, sick. I mean, this person's just gonna be broken. It's over. Mm, look at that. Five of swords reverse and the five of cups upright. Feeling defeated, sad, crying over spilled milk, feeling jaded, heartbroken over the past, disappointed, sad. But this is what they get. Yeah, it's like now this person wants to reach out to you, make amends. They want to take action now. But you're in the Queen of Swords energy when it comes to this person. It's going to turn into a fight because this person, their approach is going to be like like the old. Like this person, when they come back in, like, yeah, they're going to apologize, but they're going to still try to be on the same shit with you. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's just like the best apology is change behavior. People's mouth can say anything. It's just like, yeah, I'm sorry. Like a person can tell you that, but their behavior is going to tell you if they really are sorry or not. And this person's coming back towards you. They're going to give you some type of half-ass apology and then still try to do the same shit they always do. And you're going to be like, absolutely the fuck not. Queen of Swords, get the fuck out of here, bitch. As I said, it's going to turn into an argument with the five, the five of wands. Like you're going to read this person for filth. You're not playing. And that's going to be the nail. That's going to be the cherry on top of everything that this person has already lost. Of the shit that they already going through. That the shit that you tell them is going to be the cherry fucking on top. They're going to be very much humbled after that. But anyway, this has been the end of the reading. I got to get ready to go to work, y'all. So I'll holler y'all later. Peace. <laughs>